Hi guys, Anna here from Hive Dance. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm teaching my uh, contemporary choreography to Elastic Heart by Sia. This one was requested by Giselle. I think I said that right. So thanks for the request. Hope you like it. Um, so if you do like this video, make sure you hit the like button, get in the comments, tell us if you have any requests and hit subscribe. Okay, so jumping right into it, um, you're gonna run twice to the front. So I'm not gonna run too much, otherwise, you know, you're gonna get a close up and we don't want that. So it's just right, left, and you're gonna go right, left to the front, okay? I'm gonna mark this on the spot. Right, left. And then, because your right leg's at the back, you're gonna bring that in and shoo. You're gonna kind of come up on your tiptoes and you're gonna fold the arms in front of you. You want them really loose. You don't want to like fist and clench because that's a little bit more hip hop and not what we're going for. You want it loose and almost like you're throwing yourself into that, okay? So from the top, five, six, seven, eight. Run, run, throw. Then you're gonna drop to the right, drop. Just on, on the right leg, I'm just letting my arms um, go to the side, and then I'm gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna go to the left first to do a nice kind of back bend. All the way around, woo. All right, make sure you stretch before this. If you're not stretched right now, go do a couple back stretches. It'll save you tomorrow, I promise. Again, from the top, five, six, seven, eight, run, run, up and around. And you will notice my arms are going up, down, into this position. So again, we, we want to be relaxed with the fingers. We don't want it here because everything's going to tense up and you're going to look super stiff and that's not what we want, okay? So make sure it's relaxed in your arms. If you want any tension, kind of use it right here to tuck in those elbows, okay? Let the fingertips just chill. Again, five. Six, seven, eight, run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Coming up, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your right hand and it's gonna kind of punch through this way and it's gonna be a transition to get you to move over to the left side. So it's gonna go shoo, like so. Um, and you really want to make sure you're leading with your shoulder and the body follows afterwards because we want the effect of that kind of power and you want, you know, it's not just gonna be like a, there's nothing there to that. You wanna feel like your shoulder just pulled you over there out of nowhere, <laughs> okay? So you went here, around, and shoom. Just, just so we can be clear on what's happening next, shoom. You take that right leg, Cross it to open, okay? Just so you know when you're zooming, you've got somewhere to go, all right? Again, five, six, from the top, seven, eight, we won, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and good. So now I've gone with my shoulder, shoot, and then I'm opening up my feet here. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna um, bring my, <laughs> I'm gonna say my feet. I think I was going for fists. Let's say hands. I'm gonna bring my hands together at the bottom and I'm gonna let that kind of drag up my stomach and at the same time, I'm gonna come up onto a releve, which if you don't know, that's just rising, so on your tiptoes. Try and make sure you're not gonna sickle them. So you don't, you wanna be right on top of your toes. Um, so you should feel some leg muscles working. If not, if you're, you know, if you're doing this, that means you need to pull in, squeeze everything you have to lift your body on top, okay? So it's going shoop, up and out. Like that, it's gonna grow out of you, okay? So we just went shoo and uh, 
And I believe this is on the lyric, love, love. And then you're gonna bring it back in and it's gonna weigh you down. So you're gonna bring it in and it's gonna go all the way down. And preferably, unlike I just did, you wanna have your toes turned out so you get a nice kind of position down here rather than a squat. We don't like squats in contemporary, okay? So we want it nice turned out as best you can. From the top, five, six, seven, eight. We go run, run, up, and around. Move it to bring it out and down. Good. Let me get you out of here. Just bear with me. You're gonna move over to your right leg. I'm gonna let my um, hands loosen. Bring my left leg behind, like so. So again, using your leg muscles, you're here, zoom, behind, and you're just extending both arms to the right side. They're gonna come up and finish. So slowly, you're like, what is happening with those legs? Once, it, once we're here, you're gonna then, um, so my toe was curled, I'm gonna uncurl it so I can put some weight onto that leg. I'm then gonna let my legs unwind. So I'm gonna go to the back towards my left shoulder, unwind gently, and then all I'm doing is bringing my right leg to my left. It looks more like an effortless turn if you keep your feet on the floor at all times kind of thing. Rather than if you don't, then that's an obvious step. But if you want it to just run smoothly, you can maneuver your feet without making it look like you're just stomping around, okay? Again, let's go from our zoom. We went zoom and Love, boom, down, comes to the side, put weight on there, everything goes up, now it's straight at the back. Bringing it together, I'm just gonna bring the elbows down in front of my face, yeah? Let's run that one more time from the very top slowly, then I'm gonna move on. Bear in mind, you can pause and rewind at any time, you don't need to keep up with this. Let's do it again, from the top, five, six, seven, Eight, you go run, run, shoom, side, around, zoom, and love weighs you down, around, smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, nice job. Okay, moving on from there. Like I said, if you're not there yet, rewind. You got this, okay? But from here, we just finished our turn, shoom, it's all nice and smooth. And then we're going to kind of hit this one a little bit heavier. Um, so you're gonna go to the right first, it's gonna go right and a left and. And you kind of want like a little bounce and a bounce and. And with your hands, they're gonna go shoom and a shoom and. So they're really heavy, really grounded movements. Um, everything before was a little bit flowy. Now you really wanna let everything go as best you can because it is a little bit fast. So if you're just like, you're trying to let it go but then you're too late, don't worry about it too much. Just give kind of some intention of weight there, okay? So you're here, it goes and a one, and a two, and. Again, one, and two, and. And with this, so I'm bringing my hands from the bottom. They're not directly on the same level. One's a little bit more up, um, and I'm bending also. And this is kind of as if you're gonna say like, oh, please stop, like don't hurt me, kind of thing. Um, and in the lyrics, she's talking about weapons. So this is on weapons. You're like, ah, don't, okay? that again, you're heavy, heavy, scared almost. So there's always an intention behind your movements in contemporary and lyrical dance. Um, so really any emotions you have put into these movements um, and you'll see them just come alive and it's gonna look so good, okay? So again, let's say we're gonna go 
from here just to practice our turn. It goes up and down. One and two. Yeah. All right. Now let's run it from the top and then add on. Five, six, seven, eight. You go run, run, throw, and shoot. Love weighs you down behind. Make it flow and heavy. Heavy up. Nice. All right, let me just fix this real quick. Shoom. Weapons. Yeah, here. Um, so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna melt down to the floor. Shoom. Like so. Oh, I don't know if your guys' knee is cracked, but mine, like it's a regular thing. Don't worry, I'm not hurt. Um, I don't know if it's normal. Let me know, I don't know. Um, but it does it all the time. So anyways, you went weapons. I'm just gonna move over slightly because of the next part, we're traveling. Shoom, weapons. We're gonna go down to the side. Now from here, I'll just show you the legs first. I'm gonna kind of pop up and we go right, left, right, left. Yeah, right, left, right, left. So I'm here, I'm gonna pop up. My right move first, right, left, right, left, okay? Now what's gonna happen with the upper half? You're gonna basically throw everything you have back. So again, if you haven't stretched, please just take like one second, just do a little cobra back bend. Let's get your back muscles nice and warm before you try this because otherwise tomorrow you're gonna hate me and I don't want that, okay? So you went down here, you're gonna go one, Two, three, four. And you'll notice in between those little up, you come back down. So again, when you go to go again, it's still a big movement. You're not already there. So it becomes small, right? So you're gonna go big, fold, big, fold. Again, now I'm gonna do a little bit more full out this time. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four. <laughs> Let me try. I don't think that was it at all. I felt like I was just like, ugh. Um, it's very. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's try again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Yeah, it's a little bit more like that. Quick, quick. So there's like a hit melt, hit melt. Yeah, you'll see with the with the actual video. Like I said, I'm not warm either. Um, one, two, three, four. And you're just kind of melting here. So I'm just gonna try that real quick from here. We're coming up, turn, turn, turn. Goes heavy, heavy weapons down. One, two, nice. Again, one more time from the same spot and then we're gonna move on here. All the way around. Heavy, heavy, whoo. Down, one, two, good. Okay, from there. So you've gone two, you're melting down, or you just went two and then you melt. Now you're just gonna kind of bring it back up, zoom, slowly, take your time, um, and then we're gonna do a drag turn. So you've come up. I'm then gonna step on my right leg, right? And then it's gonna go to face the side. Uh, so my right arm is a little elbow on a diagonal. Left arm is trying to match that diagonal, straight arm, okay? My right leg steps, my left leg is going to kind of draw a, a big circle. So to do this, you're gonna to need to be able to pivot this supporting leg. So as you can see, there's weight on here. There's no weight on this pencil leg, but there is a weight on here. You still need to be able to move it even though there's weight on there by just shifting your ankle. So all together, that went um, 
Hum. Hum. And I'm going to prep here a little bit. See that? Yeah. Step onto it. Drag turn. Just to face my left side. I can then drop my arms. I'm going to do a step kick. You can choose to keep your arms down or bring them up. It's up to you. I can't remember which we did in the video. Um, I think it might be down. So let's, for now, down. But if you feel like throwing them up, you can do that. So we went pencil turn or drag turn. <laughs> Step, kick. And then straight away, you're going to kind of let that kick kind of bend down <laughs> into a throw. OK? OK, I'm going to stop for a second because I feel like there's a lot going on. We're going to run it from the very top slowly and then see how we're feeling. Again, from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Run, run, shoo, ha, shoo, shoo, love, boom, boom, bring it around, up, here, heavy, heavy weapons, down, one, two, and drag, step, kick. Okay, that wasn't slow at all. <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time, same speed, um, and hopefully you guys aren't too lost. Uh, if you need to stop and just like watch for a second, that always helps, okay? Again, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shoom, da da, around, and boom, down, up, up, and drag, step, kick, Oh, okay. We're almost there. Like, I think we're literally at the end. So I'm just going to really quick wrap it up. Um, and then we'll do it just one more time. Okay. So we went shoo. Now all you're doing, you do want to try and get a flat back. Sorry, this, I'm not doing this to show you my butt, but it kind of makes it a little bit harder for me. So anyways, you want to try and get a flat back and really Throw those arms for that. Kick. And then you're just going to slowly kind of melt back up. I'm going to leave my hands again in this soft elbowy position. Slowly melting. I'm going to come back so my weight is on my left leg at the back. Bring my right off the floor. Bend it slowly. And then I'm going to kind of bounce it to turn. I'm going to touch turn walk walk and that's the end okay so bear with me hang in there i feel like i just like went off on a tangent i don't know how you guys feel but we'll see um so we just went zoom. and then you're going to slowly come up onto that left leg right leg straight comes to a bend you're then gonna Put that leg down with the hands. Not really down, just kind of balancing, just hovering over the floor. Down. And then when you lift it up again, you're going to pivot that supporting leg. So it's just so you can see the supporting leg, I'm just going up onto my toe and turning it around. That's just like the pivoting. Um, and it's just going to look like it just goes like a little bounce here and duh. Shoom, shoom. And again, you can do whatever you want with your hands. Um, I think in the video, I just kept it here. Soft. Um, I feel like holding your wrist is a good one or going up on your head just to read more emotion would be nice. Um, but again, I'm leaving that to you. So that just happened after we did our drag turn. We went drag turn, step, kick, throw, now our melting for the end. Shoom, shoom, walk, walk. Yeah. Okay. 
Last time from the very top all together. And then you guys are done. Let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heavy one, two, up. Down, ha, ha, drag, step, kick, throw, melt it all together, zoom, zoom, walk, walk, <laughs> and you did it, good job guys, I hope you liked it, I hope that wasn't too crazy of a little whirlwind of a tutorial, I don't actually know what just happened, it's all blur. Let me know how you feel. If you did like it, please like the video, talk to us in the comments and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon in our next tutorial.